Hello friends, this video on chemistry in every, everyday life part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Understanding what is happening? So it was discovered that histamine, and that's why this antihistamine came. They discovered that there is something called histamine. It's nothing but a natural protein, natural protein. Nitrogen chemical, I can say nothing but a nitrogen chemical. So, this is my histamine. So, it was observed that or it was discovered that this histamine is the root cause because this histamine actually this stimulates. Secretion of pepsin and HCl in the stomach. So this is his, this histamine which creates the HCl and pepsin in the stomach. So if we can find something which controls this histamine, we can control the acidity, correct? Without impacting the pH of the stomach or the body. So for this, they came up with a drug called cimetidine, right? This drug or called tegamet also, this was designed and what this drug used to do? It used to prevent the interaction of histamine with the receptor of the stomach. See what it used to happen is this histamine, I'll put an H, they used to react with the, the, the receptors in the stomach wall. They used to react with this receptors. Correct. And with this, it used to produce HCl and Pepsin. So this histamine reacts with the receptor of stomach to produce HCl and Pepsin. So they, they told, let's do something which can prevent this interaction. Because, see again, controlling the histamine production is again difficult, right? They need more science. So, let's let's go at this step now. Where the interaction happened between the histamine and the stomach receptors, we can somehow stop it. Correct? And with this, it will result in less acid. So, what this drug used to do was, this used to compete with this histamine. Cymatidine and to interact with this receptors, stomach receptors. Since since this receptor will not produce any pepsin or HCl, the whole acidity is controlled. And it became a very, very popular drug. It became the largest selling drug in the world, actually. Until this rantiding this came again. Then after that, ran ranitidine. This drug came and it took over of this cymatidine. And this is the shape of this drug. Now this is the most popular drug, Rantac, they call to take care of the acidity of the stomach. So what they are doing, they are doing nothing but they are interfering here in this part. They are competing with this histamine. And with this, since histamine is not able to interact with this um, receptors in the stomach, less and less HCl and pepsin is produced, right? So this histamine actually has a huge role to play. So this histamine has a huge role to play. The first one is, this is a, this actually widens the blood vessels when required. Sometimes uh, the blood, when some body part needs more blood flow. So this widens blood vessels. Right, so also called vasodilator. Why? Right? Because they widen the blood vessels. The histamines are also called vasodilator. It is also the histamine is also responsible for natural congestion. During common cold. So you must have seen during cold. 
or during some allergic response to pollens, your whole nose is blocked. That is because of this histamine. Because this histamine, how it, it, it blocks your nose? Because it has, it triggers actually, it triggers inflammatory response. So it, it asks your body cells to inflammate and this that's why the nose cells becomes inflammate and whose nose is blocked. Right? So these histamines has some importance actually. Mostly they are not good. The natural condition which you get and this excess production of SCL. So, and the, the, the scientists, what they did was they went ahead and tried to know who produced this histamine because this became a very crucial chemical. So they found that this is produced by basophils and by mast cells. Basophils and the mast cells, they produce this histamine and these are found near the connective tissue. So anti, a lot of histamines, antihistamines came in the market. There are so many antihistamines that are in the market. I'll write the names. The one is bronfenamide. This is one. Then we have dimetap. This is another antihistamine. And then we have terfer. Terfenidine. So there are three, I mean, there are plenty of antihistamines in the market. Right? They're called Seldem also, is one antihistamine. So there are so many histamines to control this histamine chemical because it plays uh, a role in the natural condition, in the acidity, and also for widening of blood vessels. And all these antihistamines have different functions. For example, I told this histamine is responsible for the natural condition also, for the acidity also. So in some case, these uh, antihistamines helps you control the natural condition. They, they don't interfere with your uh, SCL and pepsin production in the stomach because they all react on different receptors. Correct? They all, because this histamine they react on different receptors to produce different response, right? In one case, it, it, it acts on a receptor to produce natural condition, that is inflammation response. In some case, it uh, histamine talks to some other stomach receptors to produce SCL. So the, the treatment is to act on the receptors, not to control the histamine production actually. So the, on different receptors, different medicines work and it doesn't interfere. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.